in those moments when we were making the decision to tie our tubes, would we have been okay with the doctor saying, no, ma'am, you can't do this. Hi guys, welcome back to the Zebra Tribe fam, Sarah here. Welcome back to this little mini story time. I've got a very, very fun and exciting story to talk about tonight. And I think y'all will be interesting. And the topic that is so, it's so, um, what do you call it? Related to my channel and my, my just the kind of things that I talk about. So if you guys want to see and hear what I'm talking about, continue watching. I know the suspense is always killer when I'm trying to like gab on before I let you guys know exactly what it is. <laughs> so the topic for today, story time, is based, it's, it's a topic based on this woman, okay? A recent story that I just came across on this woman and her husband trying to sue the doctor. They are trying to sue the doctor because the doctors denied her a tubal ligation and yeah it just makes for a very juicy story because if you guys know my journey you guys know that i already went through this i had a tubal ligation then i had a tubal reversal so who's benefiting to be like talking on this topic me your girl because you know when i was getting mine done my doctor was like are you sure are you sure are you sure all over the place are you sure and i was just like yes thank you i am done with kids and lo and behold eight years later who thought i would be rush, rushing back to the doctor saying please please untie my tubes and here i am on a ttc journey all over again so honestly i can t i feel like i can totally relate to both sides of this story and i have a lot to say on this topic like i said this woman is just like pay up cha ching ching you denied me my tubal ligation when I asked for it. <laughs> and that's what the t this topic is all about. This definitely makes for a juicy, juicy story time. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said before, this is your girl, Help Channel Out. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as you're watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. And also, if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can know when your girl uploads, you know, her latest videos. So let's get on with this chit chat. Um, so let me check this out of there because I can see it in the footage. Now I feel better. Ignore the fact that I'm coming at, at you guys looking all ghetto. I'm getting a new wig. I'm so excited. Okay. My hair is just... Let's not even talk about that. I wanted to talk to you guys about a touchy little subject matter that recently came up and I thought it would be really good to talk to you guys about it because you guys are really good at providing feedback, sometimes unwanted feedback, but you know, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm not. In reality, you guys, for the most part, are really, really good at giving good feedback and I, this topic came up and you know what it's really something that is a core part of my channel you guys know about my whole tubal reversal type thing and um yeah so it's recently in the news this there's a topic of tubal reversal this one woman right she and her husband requested get it um they they requested or she requested upon I think the last delivery that she had if she could have her tubes tied but because of her age she didn't they didn't want to give it to her they want they didn't want to do it for her because I think you know they're thinking a she's young and b she is capable of changing her mind and maybe given like the number of tubal reversal rates that they continue to see perhaps that is what caused them to say no like I said, I remember when I wanted to have my tubes tied, the doctors were saying, like they they asked me, like they drilled me. They asked several times over, are you sure? Are you sure? And I was like, I was sure. So I totally can understand the apprehension. Now, the story gets messy when she can, she asked for it and they denied it. And so, you know, she went on to live her merry life. And next thing you know, kaboom, I'm pregnant. <laughs> well, I'm not pregnant, but she got pregnant. And let's just say, honestly, I don't even know what to say. Because reading the article, the woman said, long story short, I mean, her kid's here now. She 
is happy that her child's here. She's happy with the way things are turned out. But the whole point of me talking about this is because now that her and her husband are suing the doctor for not giving her a tubal reversal. And that is the reason why she fell pregnant or she became pregnant. Same difference. Yeah, that is exactly what happened. So the idea behind it is, I guess my question is, if you are happy that, you know, you're happy with your child and you're happy with how things turned out, why are you still suing? And I mean, I guess I could kind of understand because they're the ones who didn't, the doctors are the ones who denied her, her the right of having her tubes tied, given that they weren't planning on having any more. But at the same time, I'm just like, okay, well, but you're still happy. <laughs> I was saying to my girlfriend, like, I think it's a bit of like a get rich quick, a get quick, get rich quick scheme, get quick, rich scheme. Oh my gosh. You know what I'm talking about. I feel like it's one of those. And, but at the same time, I can understand if, you know, your mind is just shut off of the whole, your mind is just completely shut off of the whole, I'm going to get pregnant again. Like I can only imagine, like even after I had, when I moved on from having kids and saying that I wanted to, I had my tummy tuck and they denied me and said, oh, you couldn't have, you couldn't have your tubes tied. And I went on and then I got pregnant because they denied me. I would be, ups I guess I would be upset. Like, I know the Lord doesn't give you more than you can handle. And if he, and if it's happening, I feel like it's a blessing. But at the same time, these people, I know it's like a tough one for me. It's a really, really tough one because I can see from the people's perspective from one degree, but I can also see from the doctor's perspective because I was that very candidate who was asked, are you sure? It's multiple times because the doctor wanted to ensure that I knew what I was doing. And as much as I was certain that I knew what I was doing, I was still that exact same candidate that came back around and said, no, I didn't know what I was doing. I changed my mind. I was under the, actually, I was not under any influence. <laughs> Correct that. I was not under any influence. And I didn't make the decision, you know, after having surgery, as some women may, while they are under the influence of the medication or whatever they're taking. No, my decision was purely made because I just thought I was done. And I changed my mind. So I can totally understand because I think they're seeing more and more tubal reversal rates as well. They're seeing the numbers rise because a lot of women are changing their mind. I'm seeing the numbers rise because every day on my channel, I'm getting approached by another female saying that they've had their tubes tied and their story is similar and now they changed their mind or they moved on in life and something or another, some reason or another, they have, they're at this place where they want to correct tying their tubes. So doctors aren't stupid they do understand what's going on and i think that's why but at the same time it's kind of at the same time they have to i guess there's that that, that line of them respecting patients wishes too if a patient is saying i'm done though with having kids then i guess they should kind of adhere to that too because why should they why should people be getting pregnant with kids that they don't really desire it sounds so bad to say want because i feel bad for any kid to feel like they're unwanted i don't know that's that's the dilemma that i want to share with you guys it was resting on my mind and i felt like i was like wait a second i do a channel i have a channel i have both channels and they're focused on tubal reversal ttc and pregnancy all this stuff so why not bring this topic up and share it with you guys and have and ask you guys to leave all your comments down below let me know your thoughts on this this woman and her husband are suing for eight, eight? No, they're suing for, I think, 800 and something thousand. So it's just, they're basically suing for a million because they feel like as much as they love their kid and the fact that their kid, their child is here now and they're happy and they wouldn't change anything, they feel like the financial responsibilities are kind of thrown on them and it's something that they didn't foresee, something that they didn't expect and it's all because the doctor refused to give them their surgery. So, I mean, they're making some good points in there. I don't know what to say. I'm just like, like I was saying, you know, that thing I was trying to say earlier, that get rich quick scheme. I think I said it right. Yeah. I think 
to me it kind of sounds like that's what that is but at the same time these people actually have like a legit case that they're proving over here that i can kind of understand so i'm just curious to know what you guys all think i really don't have like a definitive side that i'm on because i can understand from the doctor's perspective why they denied it or why they were questioning it and i can understand from the, these people's perspective as to why they're now upset even though i feel like you got the an amazing gift be happy you got a beautiful baby healthy and you're happy that you have her now life is good like let's keep it moving right but then again that's easily said because kids do cost money and so perhaps if that is not something that they were ready for they feel like their lives just kind of went you know out of whack in a sense so i'm just curious to know what you are you guys are all going to say in the comment section because this is a bit of a juicy one and we can continue having a conversation about this you guys can respond and stuff and maybe i'll do another video part two just talking about what y'all said down in the comment section because i'm just curious to to really know your guys take I've never really discussed it with too many people, but my girlfriend and I, were, we're kind of on the same page as to what we feel. But I'm just curious to know what the rest of the world thinks. Should doctors be allowed to deny these patients? Do you even understand the reason why they're denying them? Do you agree with it? Or should patients be allowed to now sue doctors for kind of screwing up their lives, I guess? I don't know. Or do you think that woman should just kind of move on and be happy and content with what she's gotten? Because if she's saying that she wouldn't change a thing and she's saying that this child is adding positively to her life and that she, you know, she's, she's happy about the results, why are we then suing? I feel like it indirectly still looks bad on the child long-term because no matter what and how they feel, I think they're still gonna feel like perhaps my parents really just didn't want me <laughs> to be here because, and long story short, they were still suing to, I don't know, maybe the child will think mom and dad are trying to support me. I don't know, this could go either way. So I'm just, <laughs> it's just late night and I wanted to chit chat and I'm just, I'm just curious. Um, like I said, I wanted to show, I wanted to touch base on this topic because I know that there's so many of you guys that are new on my channel and so many of you guys that have dealt with tubal reversal before and are going through the same thing. So I think for us, we can probably comprehend it a little bit more, understand it a little bit more than the average person who may have, may not have had it. And, but we also have to put ourselves in the position of that woman, like when in those moments when we were making the decision to tie our tubes, would we have been okay with the doctor saying, no, ma'am, you can't do this. Even though in our minds at that moment, it was exactly what we wanted to do. How would we have feel had someone, how, how would we have felt had someone made that decision for us or just took away our rights to make that decision? I guess that's the real dilemma in this in this case um, I was gonna do this video with Aaron but the time just never seemed fitting to incorporate us both in the same video meanwhile we also had a lot of other things that we were trying to do this week was super busy it would have made for an interesting topic because I think I like when he's in videos we bounce off of each other and it would have been great to hear a male's perspective on this because you know that woman's situation obviously involves her husband too but leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys have ever seen or heard of any other any topics like this and another thing so i feel like there's so many different things that y'all can comment on in this video if you're watching this video be sure to leave a comment down there and don't forget to hit that like button as well subscribe to my channel if you're new and also do you think that people should have the rights to sue for things such as this one do you think that this is like a legitimate thing to sue over or you just think it's like one of those things like it's like mm -mm. uh yeah i'd love to know so thank you guys for watching and uh hope you guys enjoy this little mini chit chat if you guys want to see more just ask don't hesitate your girl likes to chat and this is always a fun time for me so thank you guys so much for watching and much love bye guys Hi guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.